Hello, I am Rhythm, a cloud support engineer here at AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how to redirect a domain in Amazon CloudFront. Let's get started. To redirect a domain in CloudFront, you can either use an Amazon S3 website endpoint that returns a 301 status code, or you can use an edge function that redirects requests to a new domain. An Amazon S3 website endpoint redirection moves the existing URL path to the redirected domain. But an edge function allows you to redirect viewers to other pages based on information in the request, or even to rewrite all requests from one part to another. First, let's start with an Amazon S3 endpoint that returns a 301 status code. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to Amazon S3 Console. Then, create a new bucket and enter a name for the bucket. Scroll down to Block Public Access Settings for this bucket and turn off the public access by clearing the checkbox for Block All Public Access. Choose Create Bucket. After bucket creation, open the bucket that you created and navigate to Properties. Scroll down to Static Website Hosting and choose Edit. Turn on Static Website Hosting for the bucket. Scroll down to Hosting Type and select Redirect Request of an Object. After that, enter the host name where you want to redirect users to. For instance, I am adding www.google.com. You can select the specific protocol as well. For instance, I'll select HTTPS. Then, choose Save Changes. Now, to test these changes, go to the Bucket Properties and scroll down to the Static Website Hosting again. Copy the Website Endpoint link, then open a new tab and paste in the link. Note that it redirects the S3 Website Endpoint link to www.google.com. After you configure the S3 bucket, navigate to CloudFront Console. Create a CloudFront distribution. In the origin domain, select the Amazon S3 bucket that you just created. After you select the bucket, CloudFront automatically detects that the bucket has static website hosting turned on. Choose Use Website Endpoint. Now, scroll down to Default Cache Behavior, navigate to Viewer Protocol Policy, and then select redirect HTTP to HTTPS. Scroll down to alternative domain name option and enter the domain name that you want to redirect to. Select the appropriate custom SSL certificate for this. After this, choose create distribution and let the distribution be deployed. When the distribution is deployed, navigate to Amazon Route 53 console. Select your hosted zone and create a record. Enter the same record name as the alternative domain name that you added in the CNAME for your CloudFront distribution. Set the record type to CNAME and for the value of the record type, copy the default domain name from the CloudFront distribution that you created earlier and then paste it in. Create the records and wait until the records are added to your hosted zone. When the hosted zone is updated with the record, request the alternative domain name, you'll see the redirection happening with a status code of 301. Now, let's use an edge function that redirects requests to the new domain. Let's start with the lambda at edge function. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to AWS Lambda Console. Create a lambda function from scratch. Select author from scratch and enter a name for the function. For runtime, select the runtime that you want to use. For this video, I am using Node.js 16x. Open the drop-down list and from change default execution role, select create a new role from AWS policy templates for the execution role. For the policy template, select basic lambda attach function permissions for CloudFront trigger. After you do that, create the function you can copy the template code to set up the HTTP redirection from AWS documentation. Now paste the code into the code window for the lambda attach function. In the code, you can change the message that you want to see when the redirection happens. 
you can also change the path where you want to redirect the link to. If you use the template code, it redirects to the AWS Lambda documentation. After you deploy the code, drop down the action button, deploy the function to the Lambda attach and then select the desired distribution for cache behaviors, select star and for the CloudFront event, select viewer request. Confirm the deployment to Lambda attach. After you deploy the function, navigate to CloudFront console. Go to the distribution behaviors and edit the appropriate behaviors. Then scroll down to the function association and then select lambda attach from function type for viewer request. You will see that the function that you created is automatically selected. Save the changes and wait for the distribution to be deployed. Now when you request the alternative domain name, you will see that it redirects to the path that you provided in the lambda attach function. In my case, it redirects to a documentation page for AWS Lambda. Now, let's move on to the CloudFront function. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to CloudFront Console and then go to Functions. Create a new function and enter a name for it. When the function is created, add the function code with the redirection domain and then save the changes. Go to publish and publish the function. Now, go to the live section and check whether the function is published or not. Go to the distribution behaviors and edit the appropriate behavior. After that, scroll down to the function association, select the CloudFront function from the function type for viewer request and then select the CloudFront function that you just created. Save the changes and wait for the distribution to be deployed. When you request the alternative domain name, you will see that it redirects to the path that you provided in the CloudFront function. So, now you know how to redirect a domain in Amazon CloudFront. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.